Hello and welcome to the tutorial on learning numbers. In this tutorial we are going to go through numbers up to 100 and we're going to illustrate them with pictures. Now I'm going to draw a few blocks and I want you to see if you can work out how many I'm drawing. Now these rows here are blocks of 10. We've done this before. So instead of counting each and every single block, I want you to use the shortcut method to work out how many blocks there are. Right, we'll just do a few more. And over here we've got some individual blocks. Right, there we are. So the question is, you have to work out how many blocks there are in total. What we do know is that each of these blocks over here, the ones in rows, are blocks of 10. So these are blocks of 10. How do we work it out? Well, simply we count upwards in tens. So let's do that. This is a block of 10. So that's 10. The next one is another block of 10. Now together they make 20. The third one, oops, I went one step ahead there. The third one is also a block of 10. And now we're going to add those together. 20 plus 10 is 30. The only digit that is changing is the one on the left. The next one is a block of 10. We're going to add them together. That comes out to 40. Another 10. That takes it to 50. Simply counting in tens. 50 and 10 is 60. And the last one. Add the 10 to 60, it is 70. So we have got seven blocks of 10. In fact, we'll draw them here. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are seven blocks of 10, and that makes 70. Once you learn how to do the 10 times table, you'll be able to work this out. There are seven blocks of 10 times the 10 in each row that ten comes out to 70. It's the same answer. Now individually, how many do we have? Right at the bottom, let's count them. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. There are 7 individual blocks. So therefore, we add them together, that comes out to 77. So this entire picture has got 77 blocks. Now notice, we did not count each and every single block. We counted them in tens to make it simpler. What we're going to do just to finish off here is to count in tens. Now you'll do this in the 10 times table, but let's just do it over here as well. So if you got one row and you got 10 in the row, that comes out to be 10. If you've got two in the row, that comes out to be 20. Look over here. We've got 20 here. The next one, if we got 3 times 10 equals 30. 4 times 10 equals 40. Now what that means is that if there are four rows, which means you've got one up here, two, three, four, there are four rows, each row has 10, 4 times 10 is 40. 4 rows make 40. Carrying on, 5 times 10, 50. 6 times 10, 60. Now notice, the zeros remain the same. It's only the digit on the left that changes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 7 times 10 is 70. Then we got 8 times 10, 80. 
we're just going to scroll down just a little bit. 9 times 10 is 90. And the last one, if we've got 10 rows of 10, that comes out to be 100. So it's a nice, easy way of doing this. But notice you can count these much quicker if you count them in rows of blocks.